So we will be doing a mukbang today at um this is what I will be eating. Watermelon, seeded watermelon that is, the African fruit, super fruit that is, called watermelon. If you don't eat watermelon, there's something wrong with you. I hate this negative stigma that they have on watermelon. Black people ate this as slaves when we were slaves because watermelon flushes you out it cleanses your, your body it's made out of 98 percent water so if you're not eating this and you think that this is a a negative stigma placed on black people you're a fool don't believe the hype this is an african fruit let's go so it's this dude right <laughs> He's like, yo, he should be the spokesperson for, for Raleigh. Like, he loves Raleigh to the T. Like, every time I do a video about Raleigh, you know, he's always in it. You know, talking about, yo, Raleigh this, Raleigh that, or whatever have you. And let me tell you something. I'm not the type of person to, like, go crazy over a city. I'm just not. If I were to represent a city, it would have to be a city that's in Africa, like Nigeria or something like that. Other than that, I'm not going to go crazy over these cities like that in the United States. I'm just not. So, you know, he's, he always leaves these comments about how Wake County has more of a population than Charlotte. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull it up. Got a laptop right here. And this video is not really based on him, but it's just to show you all who's the more heavily populated city. Is it Raleigh? A Durham, and we're gonna find out. So let's let's do the map. Let's 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 go ahead and look this up. So right now, we're doing Wake County. Now for y'all, for for all of y'all that don't know, Wake County consists of Anger, Apex, Cary, Fruit Crave Arena, Garner, Holly Springs, Nightdale, Morrisville, Roseville, Wake Forest, Wendell, Zebulon. And Raleigh. So let's count it out. That's how many towns? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, including Raleigh, right? So this is this is what makes up Wake County. Let's scroll up here. So the total of po the the population, the total is hold on, I'm coming up. Is one million. 111,761 people, right? We got that. 13 towns in Wake County, and we have roughly a little over a million people, right? So let's look up Mecklenburg County. Now, this is in Charlotte. Mecklenburg County consists of towns such as Cornelius, Davidson, Huntersville, Matthews, uh, Mint Hill, Pineville, Stallings, and Weddington. Oh, excuse me, including Charlotte. So that's that's 13, 13 towns in Wake County, which is roughly a little over a million. And now we have Mecklenburg County, which is one, two, three, four, nine towns, right? 13 in Wake County and nine. And Mecklenburg, right? So the total of population that's in Mecklenburg County is, hold on, 1,110,356 people. So Wake County roughly has Mecklenburg County beat somewhere between 20 2000 and 2500 people right so technically wake county has more of a population than mecklenburg county but i mean i would think so because they have 13 towns in in wake county in comparison to 
Mecklenburg County, which only has nine, right? Now, let's look up the population of Charlotte. Charlotte alone, the city. We have, uh, hold on. 885,708 people that's in the city of Charlotte, right? Let's look up Raleigh. Raleigh has 474,069 people. So Charlotte has double the amount of people in Charlotte, the city limits, than Raleigh, right? Now let's look up the metropolitan area, which consists of, in Charlotte, which consists of uh, Gastonia, Mecklenburg County, Concord, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, Kannapolis, right? The whole metropolitan area in total is 2,728,933. Now that's close to 3 million people. Now let's look up Raleigh's um, metro area, which includes Wake County, um, Durham County, uh, uh, Chapel Hill, that whole area, right? Uh, let's see, it's 1,214,516 people. So Charlotte has more of a population within its city limits than Raleigh does. And Charlotte's metropolitan area has more people than Raleigh does. It's metro area. The only thing that uh, uh, beats out Charlotte in, in, in population is Wake County. That's it. And as you can see, it's, it's kind of neck to neck. That's it. Now let me explain something to you. I'm um I'm all about forward progress. And these cities, such as Charlotte, such as Raleigh, you're gonna get a good standard of living. You know. But I will continue to say this over and over again. If you're looking for a city, a smaller city where you don't have, you have, you're gonna have tra traffic in, in Raleigh. It's gonna happen. I'm just gonna be real with you. You know what I'm saying? But you're you're not gonna have as much traffic. Um, it's not as congested, congestive. You know what I'm saying? Like you're coming from like cities like New York, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, Atlanta. You know, it, and you want that kind of like laid back feel. It's not too fast paced and it's not slow paced. I would choose Raleigh. That's just my my thing. Um, Raleigh is a is is a is a, a a a new city that's 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 growing. You know, um, it's it's now it's one of the fastest growing cities in the U United States. Um, I don't see it growing to the point where it's gonna get to the um, Charlotte's metropolitan area like. You're talking about roughly a million and a half people. They're gonna have they're gonna have to come up with a, a million and a half people in order to compete with, with 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 Charlotte. I just don't see that. I just don't. So if you're looking for a place that's you know gonna give you some city life, but it's kind of laid back and relaxed and it's not as you know uh, 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 like dense as a lot of these other cities, I would choose Raleigh. Now, if you want that city feel, you want it a little bit more fast paced. Of course, it's not going to be like New York. Um, there's no other place like New York than New York. Um, I would go with Charlotte. Charlotte's going to give you that. Charlotte is widespread. You know, um, to be real with you, Charlotte could Raleigh. You Raleigh would have to double up, like. That's how big Charlotte is. It's, it's really, really widespread. It takes, man, roughly 20, depends on traffic, 20 to 30 minutes to get to any part in Charlotte. Any part. Like, I, I stay in Steel Creek. For me to, to travel from Steel Creek to Ballantyne, that's going to take me about 15, 20 minutes. Now, traffic, it's going to take me about 30 minutes. You know, so, if you want that, you coming from cities like Atlanta. Atlanta would, Charlotte would be a miniature Atlanta. 
you know, even though it's bigger in population and in land mass than Atlanta, the city limits is still the metropolitan area is not as big as a um as Atlanta. See, Atlanta has a has advantages, you know. And what I mean by that is they just clump all of these little towns together. Like it's about 30, 40 towns that's in Atlanta metro area. And I'm not making it up. I'm being real with you. It's like a it's a lot. Let me try to look this up. And see, 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 just name all of the 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 uh, let me see, let me see. And then um Atlanta's uh metro area, it's like six million that 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 reside there. You know, and that you know that's double the amount than than um Charlotte. Let me see if I could look this up real quick. But yeah, man, I mean I would I, I any city, wow. Hold on, let me let me go down. So you have now these are these are counties, and this makes up uh, uh, Metro Atlanta. You have Fulton County, Gwinnett County, Cobb County, DeKalb County, Clayton County, Cher Cherokee County, Forsyth County, Henry County, Paulding County, Coweta County, Douglas County, Carroll County, Fayette County, County, New Newton County, Bartow County, Walton County, Rockdale County, Barrow. County, Spalding County, County, excuse me, Pickens County, Harrelson Her County, Mario Weather, Lamar, it's like 30 or 40 of them. Wow. Uh, hold on for a second, I gotta get my door. <sighs> yeah, man, um, you know, people soliciting, I, I hate that. You know, you're gonna get that when you're in the neighborhood and people coming to your door. It says no soliciting when you come into the community, but people don't listen to, to what, you know, you know what we say so as I was saying you have all of these counties it's like 30 of them so just imagine if Charlotte would just include like Winston-Salem Greensboro <laughs> I mean you we would, we would have like six million or uh, wait or uh, Raleigh would include Rocky Mount um, uh, what, what else Wilmington, all that area, we they would have six million people. You know what I'm saying? So that's the thing, man. Like, um, technically, you know, Wake County has more in population than Mecklenburg, but Charlotte has more people in the city limits, double the amount than than Raleigh does, and in the metro area, double the amount that that Raleigh does. You know what I'm saying? So. I hope this benefited you all, um, and I hope this guy, you know, I cleared this up, and 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 this is this is I'm looking this up. This is real. You know what I'm saying? So when you say Wake found Wake County has more people than Mecklenburg County, you're right. But then you're 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 leading people on as to making people think that Raleigh has more of a population than Charlotte does, and it doesn't. Raleigh is like the half, it's half of Charlotte in population and in land. That plain and simple. You know, um, I enjoy living here and um, that's about it. I'm, I'm not here to big it up. I, I'm, I wasn't born and raised here, so I, I just live here and I, I, I respect the, 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 the place. I respect the people and it's just that plain and simple. I'm not the type of person that you know, jump, be jumping up and down and saying, Charlotte is this and Charlotte is that. I'm just laying down, you know, the pros and cons to Charlotte or the pros and cons in North Carolina, the pros and cons of Raleigh and Greensboro. I'm just giving you all the information and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video. One. Hey, listen, 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 listen. Um, I forgot to mention this. So they have all of these counties, Atlanta does, right? Now take for example, in the counties, they it's towns and cities. So like take for example, like uh, Cobb County ha has Marietta, Smyrna, Kenesaw, and the list goes on. Forsyth County, um, excuse me, not Forsyth, uh, Fulton County has Alpharetta, Sandy Springs, uh, uh, what else? Uh, uh, you have uh, Atlanta, and the list goes on. Then you have DeKalb County, that's Dunwoody, yeah, Gwinnett County. Um, I forgot. It's like 
all together in the metro area of Atlanta. It's like about 300 towns. I'm not, I'm not making it up. Do your own research and you'll see. Um, the next thing is this. If you all want me to, you know, tour Raleigh, then you know what to do. Cash App is in the description box. Um, PayPal as well. You know, um, I'm going to need, because it's going to take me about two and a half, three hours to get there. And then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to drive around. Um, I'm going to need at least about $120. Now that one person can fund it, or it can be several different pe persons that come together. Once I get $120, then I'll go. Um, if people do give, send me the money in Cash App or PayPal or whatever, and I don't re reach that amount, I will definitely refund you your money back. That plain and simple. What I'll do is from this day, from this day, I'll wait about four days to see what you know what you all do. If I don't get the full amount, but I still get you know some money, I, like I said, I'm gonna refund your money back. You know, um, but I'll be more than happy to actually tour around Raleigh um, and show you the city of Raleigh. You know, I know my way around. Um, there's some new areas that I've learned that's like brand new or whatever. Um, more than likely, I'll be able to find it. I'm not trying to be sarcastic or funny or whatever, but Raleigh is not but so big. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'll definitely do a tour if I'm able to get the gas money to, to do it. So that's what the $120 is for. It's definitely for gas. Gas to get down there, gas to drive, down, drive around to tour Raleigh, and gas to get back home. You know, and it's gonna take me a full day. You know, it's three hours down there, three hours back, and I normally f record for about four hours, so we're talking about six, about 10 hours. <laughs> so, um, you know, if you want that done, you know what to do. All right.